Pathy war correspondent cameraman Kenneth Gordon is back in England after service in Europe, during which he covered many great occasions. In this welcome to Ken Gordon, Pathy Gazette pays tribute to all newsreel men who brought back pictures from the battlefronts of the world. Turning from the grim scene of winter in Berlin, may I take your minds back to some of the pictures I've been honored to film for Pathy Gazette. Pictures that illustrate our triumphs after the breakout from Ferrez. Paris, where I had to take pictures while being chased by a couple of tanks and the French Commandant of Paris. They thought my jeep was getting in the way of General de Gaulle's parade. At Notre Dame, fired on by friend and foe in a burst of street fighting, and with only a camera to hit back with. After being shot up along the road through France, I rushed to Brussels, there to be overpowered with bottles of wine, flowers and kisses. Next day, while photographing our tanks as they came through, I was roughly pushed aside by a Belgian girl. Just in time, the crashing wall missed me by inches. A moment I'm proud of, being on Nijmegen Bridge while the Royal Engineers cleared away German explosives. Tanks were coming up to relieve our airborne boys at Arnhem. Waves of American paratroops were dropped to help hold off the counterattack. The sight of hundreds of multicolored parachutes falling in orderly masses will always live in my mind. In a buffalo with our fighting patrols, I took my first look at the Rhine alongside Colonel Howard Jones, whom I met again when Monty decorated him with the DSO and MC. I crossed the river with this gallant officer It was before it was bridged. Here I am on the Rhine filming the first British bridge. From the West Bank I went up with the infantry patrols, grand fellows who had just smashed through the Reichswald and the Siegfried Line. I beat an official bar at Lüneburg Heath, just in time to film the German surrender. The great help Field Marshal Montgomery and his staff gave me enabled me to take these pictures of the climax to a magnificent British victory. Next stopping place was Flensburg for the final clean-up of the Donitz puppet government. High spot was the post pictures of the three big shots, Jodel, Donitz and Spear, all obeying orders from the pathy cameraman. Makes you think. I didn't get there in the last war, but this time I made sure. General Line and the Desert Rats provided me with these pictures as British armour rolled into Berlin. It was the end of a long journey, but I wouldn't have missed it for all the tea in China. So Kenneth returns with plenty of peacetime assignments just itching for that Ken Gordon touch. <laughs>